Hello, boys and girls. It's Miss Keisha again. Welcome to day 26 of NTI. We just have to finish this week, and then we have a few days left of makeup, and we will be all finished with our school year. Whew. Crazy how this has happened. All right. Are you ready to get started with today's work? I sure hope so. Let's go ahead and take a look at what our work is for today. Now, Miss Keisha is working with a different computer today. So if things are a little wonky, just bear with me. All right, so today is day 26. And it says that we are going to be working on pronouns again today. And it says that we are going to be giving a sentence using he, she, it, they, or them. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at that page. It's taking a little bit for those pages to load. Hmm. As you can see, this computer is not quite as fast as the one that I've been using. And I apologize for that. <clears throat> this one should be the, here it is. All right, so pronouns, he, she, it, and they. All right, so just like we did on Friday, we're gonna be using those pronouns or pronouns are replacement words for nouns. And we're gonna be making sentences about things that are happening in this picture. So today's picture is um, some boys and girls. And where are these boys and girls at? Hmm. Are they at school? Now, our boys and girls that we looked at Friday, they were at school. They were in the gym, you remember? These boys and girls are not at school. Where are they? They're probably at home. Mm -hmm. And are they inside or outside? They're outside. And what part of outside would they probably be? In the backyard. That's right. They're in the backyard. And what do you think they're doing? Maybe going to have a camp out? What makes you think that they might have a camp out? There's a fire. That's right. Good job. All right. So we're going to do, instead of the other day, how we had to divide the page in half and do the front and the back, this page actually has a list of five on one side and five on the other. So we're going to focus on this five over here. And then you will do the other five with your homework helper. All right. And it says when you have finished doing each of these, you'll put an X on the line. So you don't have to write your sentences on the lines like Miss Keisha had said. So you can just put an X on the line instead of writing that sentence. All right. So our first one says... To give a sentence with or about the boy. So there are three, four boys in this picture. So we just need to decide which boy we're going to make a sentence about. So I think I'm going to start with the boy in the back. Do you see the boy in the back? I can tell that he's in the back because he's the one that is the smallest. So when you're looking at a picture, things that are close to you are bigger. And things that are, are further away get smaller. So the boy that is the smallest in the picture is the one that is the farthest away. So this boy is the one that is the farthest away. He's in the back. So I want to make a sentence about that boy. 
and I need to use a pronoun. He, she, it, them, it, they. Now, if I'm talking about a boy, which pronoun of those would I use? If I'm talking about this boy, I would use the pronoun he. You're right. I would use he. And what can I say about that boy? You can look at your paper if you have it there in front of you. He has my favorite number on his shirt. He, I think I will write. You don't have to write. Remember, you can just put an X by that line. He has a seven on his shirt. So what Miss Keisha wrote for that boy is he has a seven on his shirt. Now, instead of using boy, the boy has a seven on his shirt. I use the pronoun he. So right here, instead of saying the boy has a seven on his shirt, I used the word, the pronoun, he. Good job. All right, now, let's go back. I said I'm using a different computer today, so it takes me a little bit longer to switch between the screens. And our next one says shoe. Now, we've not talked about this pronoun yet since we've been doing NTI, or at least not with these videos with Miss Keisha. So, a shoe. Can a shoe be a he? Well, is it a boy? No. So, can a shoe be a she? No, because a shoe can't be a girl. Can a shoe be an it? Mmm, a shoe is an it. See, here is the shoe right here in our picture. And it's one shoe by itself. Not two shoes, just one. See it? See that shoe right there? What can we say about that shoe? It what? We can talk about where it is, or we can talk about something about how it looks. Instead of saying it or the shoe, instead of saying the shoe, did you notice that the shoe was untied? So instead of saying the shoe was untied, we could say it. It was untied. Or it is. Let's say it is untied. Like that. So, it takes the place of the shoe. So, our sentence could have said, the shoe is untied. But instead of saying, the shoe is untied, we use the pronoun it. It is untied. And it can't be he is untied because a shoe cannot be a boy. And it can't be she is untied because a shoe can't be a girl. Awesome. Okay. 
Let's go back and see what our next one is. We've already done two. All right. Our third one is brother. Hmm, brother. Where do you think you see, whoops, a brother in this picture? Hmm, where is a brother? The boy beside the girl, the ones that are together. Remember we learned about together when when things come close to one another, they are together. So the boy and girl who are together, she might be the sister and he might be the brother. Ah, you think so, huh? All right, so if we were going to say a sentence about the brother, what might we say about the brother? We could say the brother is next to the sister. But instead of writing the brother, we would call him he, right? We would call him he. So instead of writing the brother in our sentence, we would write he is next to his sister. So we were going to say the brother because that's the word it told us to look for. Brother. Brother. The brother is next to his sister. But instead of using brother, we chose the pronoun he because a brother is a boy. And so he takes the place of brother and we write he is next to his sister. Awesome. Good job. I'm so proud of you. You're doing awesome today. Okay, let's go back and look again. I hope you're enjoying learning about pronouns and you seem to be doing a great job with them. All right, the next one. Oh, it's a tricky one. It's girls. Now, not girl, one girl. It's girls with an S at the end, which means more than one girl. Because there's an S at the end, that means more than one girl. Look at your picture and see where there is more than one girl. Can you find it? Ah, that's right. Here, where the girls are standing together. Remember together, where people or things come close together. These are girls. Now, would we use the word she to talk about girls? Would we say she are close together? Hmm, because she talks about only one girl. So we can't use the word she. We can't say she are close together. The girls are close together. The girls are beside each other. We can't say she are beside each other. So here is where we have to use one of those pronouns that means more than one, a group. So our choices are down here and we have them or we have they. So I'm going to give you both choices and you tell me which one is the right one. Them 
are beside each other or they are beside each other. They, that's right. They are beside each other. <clears throat> so Miss Keisha is going to write, they are beside each other because for a group of more than one, you can't use he or she. They are beside each other. They are beside each other. Remember our word was girls, plural, more than one. And we can't say those girls. We can't say she are beside each other. So our choice was them are beside each other or they are beside each other. And we chose they because that's the right one. They are beside each other. All right, guys. Good job. We only have one more to go today. Great. Our last one for today is fire. Ooh, fire. Now, do you see the fire? I see the fire. Now, do we know if a fire is a boy or a girl? Hmm. We don't know, do we? A fire is not a boy and a fire is not a girl. So we can't call it a he or a she. What's going on with this fire? The fire is hot, right? The fire is hot because fire is always hot. So can we say <clears throat> he is hot? No, we can't say he is hot because it's not a he. Can we say she is hot? No, we can't say she is hot because we know a fire is not a girl. So what is that pronoun that we use when we don't know if something is a boy or a girl? Hmm. Do you remember? If we were going to say the fire is hot, but we can't use he or she, we say it. That's right. It. It is hot. Awesome. It is hot. Very good. It is hot. The fire is hot. It is hot. Great job. Those are our five that we were going to do together today, and you did a great job. We didn't get very many with more than one. So let's take a look now and see what you have left to do with your homework helper. Your next five are man, which you should have no trouble with that. Although there's not a really a man. I guess this guy with no hair, he would be your man. Tree. Girl, boy and girl, and flowers. Flowers is more than one, so you make sure that you think about that one when you do it together with your homework helper. I think that you should have no trouble at all doing the rest of those with your homework helper. You did a really good job today. Um, and like I said, we just have four more homework days 
of this NTI packet left to do. So uh, I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a great rest of the day.